I'm always on the lookout for some pretty cool AI tools and not just brand new spanking new AI tools. I'm also open to seeing what features being added to existing platforms and the ones that we kind of use on a day to day. So in this video, let's go through some interesting and cool, useful AI tools that we can start using in our day to day workflow and make us overall more productive. All right, the first one is Google's Notebook LM. They now have this feature called Video Overviews and it's all built into the studio. So in this example, I've created a notebook where I'm researching on the topic of Sony's lens, which is a 24 to 70. And I've entered some of the sources, a couple of YouTube videos from reputable creators and also a link to a review. And what you can do normally is just type away and ask questions, right? And and one of the features that it had very early on is this audio overview or this podcast style audio that's generated based on the sources. And it's quite conversational, really almost realistic. But what's new is the video overview. And if you click once, it'll auto generate this explainer video with a slideshow and an AI narrator. So here are a couple that I already generated. So if we click once, that'll preview the actual video. And firstly, it comes up with the title screen for you. You can see here, is it better than the best? And then if I play a few seconds of this. All right, let's talk about something that's a huge deal in the camera world. Sony has finally... So pretty realistic AI voice there. And if I skip ahead to somewhere here, you can see a new champion arrives. So it creates this new title, creates nice quotes like this, graphical elements like this, even creates tables for you, even graphs and diagrams like this, where it's comparing the weight of the different versions. So GM1, GM2, and also a competitor from Sigma. I seriously like what it's done. I'll play a few seconds of this as well. And you feel it instantly. It just makes the whole camera setup feel more balanced, which is a total game changer if you're shooting for hours. And that right there is video overviews inside Notebook LM Studio. Moving on, one of the ways I follow up and keep in contact with my subscribers is via email newsletter. And for the platform, I use a particular one and it's called Omnisend, who are the kind sponsors of this video. They've got email marketing and also SMS marketing all built into the one platform. So you can contact your subscribers via email or SMS. To highlight a few of the AI features, let's say you're writing an email newsletter. This is my latest one. Let's say you want to rephrase the whole content box right here. Anywhere that you see this AI assistant with the star icon, you can click it once and then it will give you a few options. You can change the tone of it. You can translate it to a different language. You can shorten it, rephrase it, or just modify it based on whatever prompts you want. Let's say we simply want to shorten it. Just click that and then wait a few seconds and here we go. We've got a shortened version. And as part of writing an email newsletter, one of the processes I take is writing the subject line because it is one of the first things people see when they are browsing their email inbox, you got to make sure you capture their attention, which is why, you know, sometimes I do get stuck and I use the AI assistant right here to come up with that title. Of course, let's say you're starting from scratch. All you need to do if you can't think of any words to put in your subject line is click that subject line field. And then what you can do is you click on use AI and then you describe the campaign in keywords. Let's say you've got a 10% off uh, entire store sale. All right, let's click that and it'll come up with some suggestions for you. So I can pick one of the suggestions or continue going prompting until I get the right subject line. Same goes for the pre-header, which is this part here. Once you're done editing your newsletter, you just click on save and choose recipients. And one powerful feature is its campaign booster. So you can check this and then it'll resend the same email, but with a different subject line of your choosing to those who did not open the first email that you initially sent. And this would instantly give you more opens and clicks and therefore more sales down the line. In addition, you can create subscriber segments so it's more targeted by entering the prompt. So let's say contacts who opened in the last week. Okay, so they are most likely very hyperactive and I only wanna send a specific offer or let's say a particular quiz or a feedback form to those. So I can enter it just the way I would normally talk in a conversational way, generate the segment, 
And voila, it's automatically selected that criteria for me and segmented that particular list. And those are just a few AI tools built into Omnisyn. There's quite a lot more as explained on this page, but if you do want to get started, look down in the description box below. That'll take you to this page. And if you use my coupon code Aurelius30, you get 30% off for the first three months. And by the way, it is free to sign up and you can build up to 250 contacts to start off with. Next up on the list is a vibe coding tool called Base44. If you've ever heard of of lovable then base 44 is also a great choice in terms of building your own app and all you really need to do is enter the text prompt whatever software you want to build let's say you want to build a game based on this subject or a back-end dashboard for your members area to give you an idea of what it can build not long ago i built this youtube title generator because i myself was having issues coming up with titles for my youtube videos on a weekly basis so what i can do now is ask it you know what's the video about let's say eight AI tools. I'm going to click on generate titles and then it'll go through the back end using GPT 4.0. And here we go. We got the results. And here's the top pick unlocking the power of eight AI tools you didn't know existed. And then we've got some based on curiosity driven, direct and straightforward and so much more. So as you can see, it builds real functional apps that one can use and you can very well give this out for lead generation or sell it as a tool. Here's another example where we've got this digital vault. So like a members area, if you do want to, let's say house some eBooks of yours or guides and PDFs and everything can be managed in this backend by going to dashboard. You've got your data right here where you've got digital products and you can manage all your digital products here by adding them. All of your users can be managed in one place as well. You can check out your analytics, register a domain name that's linked to this actual software. And you can even integrate third-party apps and APIs by adding it all here. So let's say you want to connect Stripe, a payment processor, so that you can start collecting orders. You can do so by using secrets. It even manages the signups and logins for you, as you can see with this box. A couple more examples here. Using Base44, I was able to create this habit tracking system where you can create a new habit. And let's say it's about drinking eight glasses of water and changing the frequency here and you can say different uh, categories this example is called the stoic path it's more of an interactive game to learn about stoicism so if we click on quest you can go into each of these so we can say practicing acceptance and learn about that so we've got these multiple choice items you go through it and it's all gamified. So you get 75 XP if you do go and get all the questions right. In terms of modifying the app, if you know how to use ChatGPT and other LLMs, you know how to do this. So go to the chat window. Let's say change the icon. And there we go. It's changed the icon based on one prompt. If you do want to try out Base44, I do have a special coupon code that will give you 10 extra credits to use. So simply enter Aurelius10 at checkout and then that will grant you 10 extra credits. Next up on the list is a tool called Cluso. It creates product videos in minutes using AI and it automatically adds those zoom in, zoom out effects and even creates proper documentation. So you run through your process as you normally would, showing your users how to do something and then it'll do the rest for you. So for example, I demonstrated how to use Canva AI to create logos. It's automatically created this neat title for me and I can modify it right in the canvas and editor. And essentially if I play it, you'll see what will happen. Here's how to use Canva AI. If you notice, it added that zoom effect, which I didn't add, it added it by default. It's somehow new using AI, of course. It also puts this nice background behind the window. And we've got this thanks for watching screen at the end. And that's the video side of things. If you click on article, you've got this document version with step-by-step -step instructions, including screenshots. So I've got step one, describe your ID. Step two, do this. Step three, and you can see it keeps going on and on. And just like any video editing tool, you can go and edit the video as you please to make it shorter or cut certain clips. This can then be shared with your viewers or your staff. And this is ideal for SOPs, could just simply be tutorials that you post on YouTube or whatever you wanna do with these instructions and videos. Next up, we've got one from Perplexity and Perplexity not long ago introduced Perplexity Pages. It allows you to generate pages or these documents and guides using Perplexity's backend. Here's an example of a page I created using Perplexity and you can see yoga basics for beginners 
And I essentially got it to create a guide based on yoga basics. And it's come up with this, come up with and found the source of an image. And it's got subheadings as well and the different types of techniques that you can implement. It's also created this table with the benefits of yoga. To create a new perplexity page, it's not quite obvious, but the link will be in the description box below. It's perplexity.ai forward slash page forward slash new. And you simply begin by entering a title, let's say, um, choosing the right coffee machine and then click on go. And in about 10 seconds, it started producing the content. So you can see it starts with an introduction and also sources just like uh, with any perplexity output. It's found a relevant image as well and you can continue on. On the right, you can see the table of contents. And from here, you can simply use the chat window to add a new chapter or a section. So if you want a bit more elaborate, then ask it for a specific chapter. Let's say what's a single boiler versus a dual boiler, something to do with coffee machines, of course, but you get the picture and you can select how concise or detailed you want it. Also choose a format. Do you just want text or do you want a media such as an image and text? So you choose it from there. But that right there is a great way to share information in a detailed fashion that's actually sourced and referenced so that if you want to give it out to your users and students, you can use perplexity pages. Next up, we've got a feature built into ChatGPT and it's ChatGPT Record. I also want to explain also the difference between some of its other voice options. But with Record, you simply talk and it will capture and summarize meeting notes and voice notes with a limitation of, I believe, 120 minutes. Now, the only thing is it's currently only available on the Mac OS app, the native app that is, not at chatgpt.com. But here I've got the app open and you'll see a button called record. And all you need to do is just hit that record button, give it permission, and then start talking away, whether it's you, multiple people, but just let it do its job, record, dictate, and also what it'll then do is summarize and offer you notes. You also notice inside ChatGPT, you've got this microphone icon, and this is to actually literally transcribe and dictate uh, what you're saying. So if you are more so just brainstorming or anything like that, but you want every piece of word that you're saying, then this is another way to record that. And of course, we've got voice mode, which is actually a more conversational way of you talking with the AI. So you get answers after you ask questions, going back and forward in that kind of dialogue. But yeah, next time you've got a meeting or you simply just want a brain dump, why not use the voice option built into the chat GPT native app on macOS? But I'm pretty sure very soon it'll be available pretty much on all platforms. Okay, next up on the list is another voice taking, note taking tool. And this one's built into Notion and it's Notion's AI meeting notes tool. So again, kind of like ChatGPT, they're quite similar is you record and then whatever it may be, a meeting, it could be just an interview, it could be you babbling away, brainstorming, brain dumping, and then it will automatically summarize and give you point forms, anything that's useful. And also at the same time, it gives you the full transcript of what you actually sent. So in this example, I created a new Notion workspace and I then enabled AI note-taking and it's created this GPT-5 meeting. The notes that I started talking about in terms of OpenAI's brand new model, the GPT-5 model, and you can see the overview, key capabilities, and a few other points that I talked about. Now to enable and use the AI meeting notes feature, you can go to any page or workspace of yours, use a forward slash and you'll see AI meeting notes. Now, once that's done, you can click on the record button, but I am on the browser version, but otherwise there will be a button called start transcribing. So you've got the summary tab here and then on the transcript, you can see everything that I mentioned and it doesn't really need to be perfect, of course, when you talk just conversational and then it'll do its best to summarize everything in a neat fashion and finally one to mention once again is canva ai because it's a great overall design tool and with ai now built into it you can pretty much create anything from charts presentations logos your designs invitations whatever you are thinking about creating all can be done and you can see some of the examples right here and the prompts that you can use even games and code you can all do it in Canva AI. So simply describe your idea, add some any references if you want to do that, or you can use voice mode. In particular, it's pretty good at creating presentations. You can see that I wanted to create a presentation on the evolution of AI. And here are some of the slides that it's come up with, quite dynamic, and each of the slides are quite different in terms of the layout and the look. Here's another example here. 
So it's come up with the relevant images and graphics as well, and even graphs. But there we go, those are my current top eight picks. Give it a try, let me know which ones you are currently using or will be using uh, moving forward. I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. For now, thanks so much for watching and I'll leave up this video here for you to watch next. Otherwise, if you're not interested in that, watch this one here.